So what is NaN or not a number in JavaScript? Let's talk a bit about this. So you might have encountered this uh, value whenever you wanted to parse an integer that wasn't really an int. So something like parse int of, um, I don't know, test. And that will give us a NaN, right? Other ways you can get NaN? Well, if you use the unary operator, just plus on a string that doesn't convert to a string, you also get NaN. So that's the same, uh, almost the same result. Another way is if you divide uh, infinity by itself. So if you, if you know, you can get infinity by simply dividing one by zero. So if you divide one by zero, that's, that's what you get. But if you divide one by zero over one by zero, you will actually get not a number. Okay. And you might have also seen this uh, sort of uh, snippet of code where the guy goes B plus A plus, and then another plus A plus A. And what do you get? You get banana. <laughs> um, and that, that is kind of weird. Like, why does that happen? But it's, um, it's fairly obvious if you, if you've seen this example, you'll notice that I'm actually doing the same thing here. So I have the string B, the string A concatenated, and then I am concatenating the, well, the string plus A and plus A cannot be converted to another number. So it's not a number. So I get NaN and NaN converted to a string is still the characters N, A and N, right? So that's how you can get banana. Uh, in a very unexpected way. So how can we protect ourselves against these NaN values? Because sometimes you might actually get a NaN by simply accidentally parsing a string that cannot be converted. So what do we do here? So let's say we have here a parse int and we do this test again. And we also keep it inside a variable. So for example, uh, I don't know, uh, number, right? And if I type in number is going, be, is going to be NaN. So how can we check that further down the line? If we say, for example, our variable, if it's equal to NaN, you'll notice we actually get false. But we know for a fact that, NaN, that this variable actually has the value NaN. What's going on here? It's quite tricky. I think NaN in JavaScript has one of the most weird specification in across all languages. So here you have NaN that by definition is the only value that is not equal to itself. So if I say, for example, NaN equal to NaN, I get false. Same thing happens if I do NaN equal equal to NaN. Same thing, it's not really a problem of which type of uh, equality you're using. It's just, that's how it's defined. It's unequal to anything quite literally to anything and to itself as well. So how can you check that? Well, since it's the only value that is actually unequal to uh, itself, that means you can check if this value is uh, NaN by simply saying on, on error, our variable is not equal to on error. And if that returns true, you know that that's a NaN, right? But that's very, very, a very strange way of um, actually checking. And when someone else that doesn't know about NaN comes along, it's gonna be like, what the heck is this guy typing here? What in the world? And he wouldn't know that uh, it's actually because of the NaN property, right? So a better way to check this is instead use the number dot is NaN uh, function. And this guy takes in the number that we're checking. So for example, our number, and it simply checks if uh, it's NaN and can return either true or false. So that can be very, very useful, right? So either use is NaN, I think uh, NaN is also defined in the global scope. So you can also use just is NaN by itself. And that's about it. That's what you have to take into consideration when dealing with NaN. Make sure you actually check it properly. So just check if is NaN. Don't try to check if it's equal to NaN because you're gonna get false every single time, no matter what. So don't do that. And uh, yeah, keep in, keep in mind that 
uh, nine is not equal to itself and not equal to any other number. Okay. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you got something out of this video. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below or join our Discord channel and ask them over there. I'm usually online. See you guys next time and take care.